I, I think it is important to talk about local cloud and then hybrid for a second. And mm -hmm. I'm talking about this for you personally. Yeah. Because you think about it, you have data that's stored just on your computer, I'm assuming. I don't. You don't? Okay. Well, I, game, I have games and stuff like that, but all of my personal data is in the cloud. It's a hybrid though, correct? It is because the, in theory, yeah, it's like, it's how OneDrive and Google Drive and all that kind of stuff works. If you install the app on your computer, then you can you can have the files locally and they save automatically to the cloud. And so I, I, it, it's built in redundancy. Yes. So I've got the files on my computer that I can manipulate, but they're technically just uh, images of what's actually on the, the internet or on the cloud. And they're connected mm -hmm. in terms of like revision history. In other words, right. the minute you change a file locally, mm -hmm. it automatically changes in the cloud. Mm -hmm. If you change it in the cloud, it automatically uh, updates locally as well. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I mean by hybrid. Mm -hmm. So if it's just cloud-based, that means the data only lives uh, in a cloud somewhere, not on a hard computer that you own. Right. And so then every time you need it, you have to stream it. You have to um, download it, download it mm -hmm. but you're technically downloading it only as a temporary mm -hmm. in that application. So um, like I open an Excel file directly from a cloud-based uh, 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 storage area. It'll bring it in. It'll see it. But the minute I save it, it saves to the cloud, but not locally. Yeah. That would be cloud only. Most of us just realize you use Dropbox, OneDrive, um, those two in particular uh, will be the hybrid approach mm -hmm. usually. Uh, Google Drive, though, that's pretty much cloud only, right? You don't. So, are you able to save locally? I thought if you downloaded the app, you could, but I could be wrong about okay. that. Okay, yeah, I haven't. I've, I've only been using that as the browser-based version, which means I'm only getting it in the cloud. So, so I think that's important to know. So, if you have a Dropbox account, you can go in and say, I want to keep this local only. I want to keep it in both places or I want to keep it online only. And, and you should do that because there's yeah. some files, if you never need them again, but you want to keep them and you're okay for them to be in the cloud, mm -hmm. then put them there and take them off of your computer. But they're always there as, when you need them. 